you doing? Tying on some line. This is the beginning of a very long day. This, this is, is what the they call the off day. Yeah, exactly. This was called our off day. Nothing off about it. Takes all day to get this stuff done. If we didn't have the off day though, I'd have been up till midnight last night trying to do this stuff. So. It also cuts into your practice a little if you don't have an off day because you're like rigging or trying to be careful or trying yep. to take stuff off during practice. How hot is Texas going? Right now it's pretty dang hot. About what, 107? I don't know about that. It's hot. We've been out here since about 7. It's 12 now. Kyle's almost ready. All he has to do now is just spinning poles. Oh, spinner pole. His favorite part. Yep, that's all we gotta do now. So what's your plan? Run around a lot. What do you find out in practice? A lot of things going on. There's a shad spawn, brim beds, and a bunch of fish out deep. So definitely think this term is gonna be one deep. But we'll mix it all up, do it all. Fish shallow some, fish deep a lot. Just what you have to do this time of year. What do you think you need to have to make a check? 32 pounds for two days. Two days? 32 for two. That's what I think. Do you feel like it's doable for you? Yeah, it's doable. You just gotta get some bites, you know? It's not very easy to get bites. At least that's my opinion. It wasn't super easy to get bites, but, you know, it's Lake Fort, there's big ones. You get eight or 10 bites in a day, you'll probably have a pretty good bag. You know, some people are gonna catch a whole lot more fish than that. But for me, we're just trying to get as many bites as possible. Let's see what we can do. So you've been out here rigging for a while? Yep. What all have you rigged? Oh, we got everything. We got vibrating jigs, square bills, deep diving crankbaits, worms, big worms, deep worms, all kinds of stuff. Uh, frog, swim jig. We got it all tied on. Which rod do you think you're going to have in your hand the most? 7.6, heavy, fast. Big what? Big worm. Big worm. Which one would you rather have in your hand the most? That swim jig or that frog. Is that possible? No. Not possible? I'll have it in my hand a lot for the first little while. Then after that, we're going to be dragging. What are you tying on right now? Shake your head. Lake Fork. Supposed to be one of the best lakes in the country. It's gonna take some big weight this week. A lot of big ones in here. You know, this place has some of the biggest males, biggest females anywhere in the country. And uh, it's just kind of tough to get them to bite all the time. I'd say they're biting a little bit better than normal right now. Well, the other two times we were here, it was even tougher and it is not easy right now. But they're gonna catch them and they're gonna catch them big. And hopefully we are they this week because we need to have a good tournament here. Lots of stuff happening right now. Lots of different ways to catch them. I just hope we can figure out a way to catch us five good ones. We're going to definitely need over 20 pounds a day here to have a good tournament. Probably in the mid-20s a day or 22, 23 a day after three days will probably give you a pretty good finish. But uh, obviously you're not going to get attention to win with that. But give you a pretty good finish, 15 pounds a day here is no good. It's just That's just what it is. So praying for biggins. <laughs> thirty seconds, thirty seconds. He's bright to be finished the fast master class and keep your eyes on Cole Cow Welcher.
Yep. We didn't blast off till seven, so we unfortunately missed some of that. That one, imagine. Better one? Yeah. One pound, 15 ounces. I felt all day. <laughs> Nothing to say, no words. I have no idea what happened. I just did not catch a good one, big one, even a medium sized one. I caught little fish all day long. Had multiple things going, I thought, and I couldn't get none of it going in the tournament. <clears throat> At least we know we're not doing tomorrow, and we better catch us about 23 pounds and fish on day three, catch another big bag. So we can get some AOI points back because this year we are getting kicked in the teeth. I'll catch a big one. Wow. Day two, Lake Fork. I don't even know what time it is, but we blast off at seven. Late boat number today was kind of an early boat number yesterday and didn't really get to capitalize on it. Uh, pulled up to a place where I thought the shell was going to be spawning. Never got a bite out of it, so then ran around from there. Caught a couple on top water and then kind of caught fish all day. Not no real flurry or anything like that had, had a few little lulls in there but just never got a big bite so today we have to get some big bites get some AOI points back we have to move up some at least I mean it's gonna be tough to fall any further because uh, we're almost in last but you know that's how it goes whenever you don't catch them still got time though this is a lake where 25 pounds is definitely like reasonable like you can do that a lot of people did it yesterday a lot of people are gonna do it again today we should have one of those people get back up in the cut make day three then try to catch another big bag. So just trying to one bite at a time, start catching some good ones. Are you gonna do the same thing you did yesterday? Or switch it up? Switch up a lot. What did you do yesterday? Well I kinda did everything yesterday. I flipped trees, fished offshore, fished offshore brush piles, fished shallow, fished some shallow docks. Kinda did everything there is to offer here, but fish some rock piles. Never caught a good one. So today we're just gonna kind of change, I guess the depth range. Not really sure, we're just gonna we'll try to get some bites. 
Yep, everything gets loose whenever you're in them waves.
Oh yeah, but it won't stay on four eight. God man. I knew it was gonna be like that. I knew I needed like I thought I needed 34. Update. <clears throat> we made a comeback, we moved up like 40 spots, but it's not quite enough because you gotta be in the top 47. And right now we're in 48. So on this tournament they weigh the they weigh the fish in the boat. So bass track is correct in this turn. So I'm in 48th right now. Might fall a little bit because a couple people may not be updated, but we're gonna barely miss the cut. That's how this one's gonna finish up. Better than yesterday. Yesterday, if you told me I'd go out today and catch 23, I'd be like, sign me up for that. Had a bridesmaid finish at the Bassmaster Classic, a two-time classic qualifier from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. 23 pounds and 5 ounces today, so a good day today. Gives you 33 pounds, 7 ounces, and boy, you're going to be close on that cut. But man, that's some great rally points for you to turn this season around. Yeah, these are the kind of days that like add up at the end of the year. You know, whenever you, yesterday I think I was in like 87th or 90th place, and we're going to at least be real close to the cut, so we got 40 AOI points. These are kind of those like days that don't make a lot of noise at the end of the year they really pay off but today was just fun i've had like a struggle of a year so far and i kind of was a little bit smarter today and i left all that deep stuff alone i went shallow and wound some stuff around this wind and actually had a pretty fun day so i'm glad that i had my good day on day two because then you go home thinking you know I, at least i made some adjustments and caught them pretty good at, you know to leave the tournament so today was fun looking forward to pick with looking forward to seeing you there keep it rolling